Do you want to know what's going on in the Florida real estate market? On this video, we're going to look at the Florida housing market and compare it to the local market right here in Southwest Florida. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? I'm Rob Wozner, a local realtor right here in Southwest Florida. If this is your first time on my channel and you want to know everything about eating, sleeping, working, playing, and the real estate market, this is the channel you need to subscribe to. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and tap the bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. A slight reduction in overall median close price, along with fewer new listings during May, indicates a window of opportunity for both buyers and sellers this summer. Overall median close price decreased 1.2% to $600,000 from $607,500 in May of 2022. There were also 1,045 price decreases and a 31.2% decrease in new listings reported during the month. The statewide median sales price for single family existing homes in May was 419,900, remaining about the same level as it was in May of 2022, which was 420,000. Last month, we saw a statewide median price for condo townhouse units was 325,000. And that's up 0.9% uh, over the year ago figure of 322,000. The median is the midpoint or half the home sold for more and half the home sold for less. Home sale prices will continue to be dictated by supply and demand. We have fewer prospective buyers than we did a year ago, but we also have fewer active sellers. Prices will be dictated by this ratio, and unless it, unless it shifts dramatically in one direction or another, prices should remain stable in the meantime. The May housing data continues a pattern that's been occurring most of the year, in which 30-year fixed rate mortgages have persistently remained in the 6 to 7% range for the most part. This has led to stabilization in price growth. Much of the impact from these relatively high rates continues to manifest in the form of reduced listings and sales activity. More and more sellers in Naples are starting to adopt the mindset that they need to be open to negotiate on price. This comment is supported by data in the May report showing a 3.8% decrease in the percent of list price received, which was 96.3% compared to 101% reported back in May of 22. Reviewing the report, I can point out that an increase in negotiations does not mean home prices in Naples are dropping. In fact, many people thought home prices were going to decrease after Hurricane Ian. But the fact is, prices are holding steady. The report showed no month-over-month -month median close price decrease for condominiums in May. Only 6.5% decrease month-over-month -month was reported in the single-family home market. New listings decreased 31.2% in May to 990 new listings from 1,438 new listings in May of 2022. Fewer new listings are putting a strain on overall inventory of homes, which still is recover recovering from the frenzied buying activity during the pandemic. New home construction is not keeping up with demand this year, and a handful of homes on the resale market have lingered for a few months because they are not moving ready. We're finding fewer buyers that are willing to purchase a fixer-upper nowadays. Higher mortgage interest rates are not only dampening sales activity, but they continue to dissuade some homeowners from selling as well particularly those who would need to finance another home purchase in addition to selling their current home. These higher mortgage rates are keeping the number of existing homes coming onto the market quite low. If we look statewide on the supply side of the market, inventory or active listings rose year over year with single family existing homes at 2.7 month supply in May while the condo townhouse inventory was at 3.6 month supply. While communities across Florida are seeing increases in active listings or inventory, the state supply of for sale inventory for single family homes and for sale condo townhouse properties remain far below what is normally considered to be a balanced market, which we consider six months of supply. Back in Naples, inventory has been increasing at a snail's pace over the last year, averaging 100 new homes a month. For May, overall inventory increased 27.6% to 2,749 homes from 2,155 homes in May of 2022. After reviewing the May report, listing a home for sale this summer has numerous advantages, including the fact that there are historically fewer homes on the market compared to the winter season, so there's less competition. Most homeowners who purchased a home in Naples in the last five years have seen a remarkable increase in equity. So the profit they could enjoy from a sale will likely offset the increase they may pay for a new mortgage on a higher priced home with a higher interest rate. Pending and closed sales during May decreased 4.4% and 20% respectively compared to last year. Many buyers are waiting for interest rates to go down, but purchasing a home this summer might be the opportune time because when rates go down, buyer demand will go up 
and so likely will home prices. The report also showed that we were 150 closed sales short of what sold in May of 2019, but with half the inventory. Demand for homes in Naples seems to have not diminished and on average, summer buyers are more serious. Last month, closed sales of existing single family homes statewide total 26,396, down 8.5% year over year, while existing condo townhouse sales totaled 11,392, and that's down 14.1% from May of 2022. Closed sales may occur from 30 to 90 days after a sales contracts are written. The monthly number of closed sales of existing single family homes in Florida and throughout the rest of the United States for that matter has eroded ever since mortgage rates started going up a little bit more than a year ago. We should expect to see year over year figures like this for the next few months since we're going to comparing this year's numbers to numbers last year that were in decline over the course of the year. In terms of this year, there's nothing on the immediate horizon that indicates the rate of sales is going to worsen significantly but there's not a lot of news out there that gives us confidence that they will improve significantly either. For the most part, the housing market seems to be waiting for a pullback in interest rates, and the latest statements and actions from the Federal Reserve seem to indicate that that's still several months away. If we look at the national picture, pending home sales shrunk 2.7% month to month in May, according to the National Association of Realtors. Pending sales decline largely because property listings are down. Despite sluggish pending contract signings, the housing market is resilient with approximately three offers for each listing, according to the National Association Chair Economist, Lawrence Yen. The lack of housing inventory continues to prevent housing demand from being fully realized. Something else that's interesting, based on market conditions reflected in the May report, I recommend sellers keep their listings active during the summer. Additionally, since 2021, closed sales of high-end properties have increased during summer months. As such, during May, the median close price of single family homes in close proximity to the beach. So I'm talking about homes in the zip codes of 34102, 34103, 34108. Uh, those have increased 20.2% to 3.125 million from 2.6 million back in May of 22. Let's take a look at what's going on in the new construction market throughout the country. Solid consumer demand and lack of existing for sale homes has helped boost May's new home sales to its highest level since February of 2022. Sales of newly built single family homes in May increased 12.2% to 763 seasonally adjusted rate, according to data released by the uh, Department of Housing and Urban Development and the U.S. Census Bureau. Thank you again for watching my monthly real estate market update video. Please leave a comment at the bottom of the video and let me know what you think and how you think the real estate market is doing. Once again, if this is your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button and tap the bell so you're notified every time I drop a new video. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.